It's been nearly 18 months since I bought this Toolkit RC M8 charger and reviewed it. Since then, it's pretty much been my constant companion because it's just so good. It's a great charger with lots of really useful other features. And they released the M6 last year, but I didn't upgrade because this M8 did everything I needed. And the M6 only really had a fancy colour display and was a bit smaller. And if I'm honest, I really rather like the 80s Game Boy look of the M8's display. Anyway, Toolkit RC have just released this M6D. It's the dual version of the M6, and if you're in the market for a portable charger you can use out in the field that doubles as a very capable desktop charger, I think this is the one that you should consider. Hello, and welcome to the Holy Grail channel. First, a quick rundown on the specs on this. It's a two channel charger, so it's sort of like having two separate chargers but all in one box powered by one source. And it's rated at 500 watts, at 25 amps for a single channel, and 15 amps if you're using both channels. Depending on the batteries you're trying to charge and the current you've set for each one, this will intelligently distribute the power between the channels. And I'll talk a bit more about that later. Now, you can power this from a desktop or a portable supply or another battery. In fact, anything between 7 and 28 volts. So you could use up to a 6S LiPo to power this if you want to. And it will charge LiPos, high voltage LiPos, lithium iron, nickel metal hydride or regular lead acid batteries. And you can charge at anything up to 25 amps, split between the two, and discharge it up to 3 amps. It's got a very nice IPS 2.4 inch LCD 320 by 240 pixel display. IPS simply means in plane switching, which means you just get a better viewing angle on this. There's a scroll click wheel here and a little button above it that you use like a back button or an escape button when you're navigating the menus. On this side is the power input on an XT60 and there's a USB connector. And they also provide a USB cable in the box as well. That's all you get in the box. There's a little manual with it. To be honest, you don't need to read that. But uh, the USB is there so that you can update the firmware. And I've updated the firmware on my M8 before and Toolkit RC make updating firmware really easy. You just download a file from their website, plug the charger into your PC with the USB connector, and it will appear as an external drive. You just drag and drop the file onto it, and it's done. Totally painless. On the front here are the dual outputs, again XT60, and these are where you plug your balance leads. Seven pins on each, so you can charge anything up to 6S on this. It's a little bit heavier than the M8 at 220 grams with a big cooling fan on this end and some vents on that end. And it feels like a very sturdy piece of kit. It's very nice. And you can get this in the shiny black like this and they do a white version as well. So let's get this powered up. I'm using this 4S LiPo. It's 10 amp hour. It's quite a big beast. So this will be being powered from 16.8 volts or thereabouts. So up here is the input supply details, volts, current and power in watts. And I assume this is the internal temperature of the unit. And I think that comes on a little fan icon when the fan's running. If you press the channel exit button up here, it switches between the channels. That's on dual, that's on single. So one, two, dual. So I'm going to use channel one and I'm going to charge this 6S lithium ion pack and that needs 25.2 volts. There. 
there you go. And then we are going to charge on the other channel this 3S LiPo, and that needs 12.6 volts. There we go. Now, down here on the display, you can easily see the voltage of each cell. Let's let me just, there we go. So we can see this is 6S, and these are approximately 4 volts each. On this side, we've just got just under 4 volts, and there's only 3 cells. So to start charging, you just click the scroll wheel, and you can see all the charging options. And if you want to go back, you just press the escape key like that. So let's go back in here and have a look. Battery type is LiPo, see what we've got. You have LiPo, high voltage LiPo, lithium iron, nickel metal hydride, and so on. Oh, and it will also charge DJI batteries like Mavics. It's very nice. So if we go back to LiPo, which is what we want, cells it will detect, we can automatically detect, or we can choose, whichever you like. You can choose between charge, discharge, and storage charge. All fairly normal stuff. The end voltage it knows is 4.2 because it's a LiPo. Although this is lithium ion, I've charged them as LiPos because of the end voltage. But you can choose the end voltage that you want if you've got something special you need to do. And in here you choose your charging current. This particular battery likes to be charged at 1.6 volts. These are NCR 18650 cells. Okay. So those are all the options. We are going to make sure that is charging on channel one. Hit start. And there we go. So here we've got the voltage for the current pack. So we're charging, we're up to 24.9 volts, charging at 1.6 amps. It's controlling the voltage on here. It's going to have a specific profile depending on the battery and here we can see the charge time on page one here we can see the charging info we use the scroll wheel we can go over to page two and that's showing the individual pack voltages sorry the individual voltages for each cell as you can see here ticking away very nicely and if we go to the next page eventually once it's settled down this will be showing us the internal resistance of each cell and the closer these are together, the better the efficiency of the overall pack. All very nice. There we go, that's caught up now. So these are all about 48 milliohms. If you want to stop or pause charging, just click the scroll wheel and you can change the current if you want to. Just Or you can just stop charging, which I'm going to do for a minute. And that's it. It's just fantastically easy to use. So let's charge this other pack at the same time. So on here we have got a LiPo. We'll select Auto. Charge. And we'll charge. What is this? This is 450 mAh. So let's charge that. That may be half an amp. That's about right. We're on channel two. Hit start. Going to charge to around 12 volts. So here you can see we are charging a 6S lithium ion cell here, charging away quite nicely. And we're charging this 3S LiPo on this channel. Now, a quick word about the power distribution. This box can't perform magic and can only charge up to the maximum of the charging source power. In this case, a 4S 10 amp hour battery. So, even if I set this to charge two batteries at 15 amps each, there simply isn't enough input power to do what you've set it to do but it will dynamically balance the distribution of power between both the channels as best it can. 
Also, if you're using a lower voltage on the input, like we are here with about 16 volts, and it's lower than the battery that you're trying to charge. In this case, this is 25 volts. It's a lithium ion 6S. It's not a problem because the switching inverter in here delivers the output voltage you need. But it's not 100% efficient. So the simple sum of power or watts equals volts times current doesn't quite work. They don't actually publish the efficiency rating of this, but switching inverters are pretty good and it does depend on the way that they've implemented it in here. But I'm expecting something at least 70 to 75% efficiency on this. And as I say, don't expect power where it's simply not available. Price wise, this is around £50 or $65 and I'll leave links in the description so you can check out the latest prices. And that's a pretty good price if you ask me. And if I can get hold of a discount coupon, I'll add it in the description. I've been using this for a couple of weeks as my main charger. Even when I'd normally use my expensive iCharger Duo over here, I've been using this. You can just throw it in your flight bag and take it out with you in the field. And for me, this is the perfect product. Toolkit RC have nailed it again with this. As always, thanks for watching, and if you found that useful, give me a thumbs up and leave a comment. And if it's your first visit, then please do the subscribe belly thing up here to get notified when I post new content. I'll see you next time.